Hey friends, how you all doing? I'm doing great. So I've been making a lot of videos and um, yeah, this is what makes me happy. It's making videos going, 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 and then I can do weigh-ins. Here's some berries. Okay. So if you want to lose weight, you don't want to eat the whole trough of berries. You just want to have a handful, maybe this much, just a few. Small amount, small amount. <laughs> And yeah, if you're like five foot two, five foot three, you only need about half as much or a quarter as much food as someone who's six feet tall. <laughs> so just remember that when you do your big seafood boils, just have one or two little pieces of, of uh, crab, crab leg and one or two uh, little shrimp and a clam or two, you know, just go real small. And yeah, you can do what you could do is when you're going to go do your seafood boils, make yourself a big ass salad like this. And eat as much salad as you can and then stuff yourself so you're full. And then when you go to do your your uh, video for the whole public to see, you don't want the public to think you're a big porky pig <laughs> and just have your small portion and then uh, make those weigh-ins good and, and uh, don't be any more than 120 pounds if you're five feet, five foot two, five foot three, and uh, under 200 if you're five eight, five nine, five ten, or something. You know. So yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what I'm doing, walking around. And um, yeah, this is when I'm happiest. It seems like whenever I'm my happiest, and I have my shining videos, Melody and Dawn and Annie talk about me, and make tons and tons of stupid things like. Uh, Oh, she won't let it go. Da, 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 da. Listen, I just want to make as many videos as I can and post them for our mansion. What does it have to do with you guys? <laughs> you know, I'm not watching your videos. I don't care. But yeah, this is what makes me happy. And I can say anyone's name. It's a free country. <laughs> free country. So yeah. We got the kids all in different rooms. Well, Furman's up there. Hey, Furman. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Walk around. Oh, I, I'm happy when I, I wash my feet again with the scrub, the scrub brush in the shower. My hair is washed. Look how pretty it turned out dried. You know, that dollar stuff doesn't really work good unless it's the, what was it, the suave or, there's one that I got that works as a good body thing, but. Go and get good expensive stuff and your hair will be thick. Get good expensive things and it will last. <laughs> it's a baby shampoo. Let me see if I can find it. I'm <laughs> walking around. And uh, Annie, why do I walk around my house? Because I can, I'm not crippled. <laughs> why? Because I can. <laughs> and why don't I ask other people for a request? Because it's rude. You don't go ask millionaires for requests, do this, do that. <laughs> That's for poppers that don't have no life. Yeah, you don't ask for requests ever for many millionaires. <laughs> Otherwise, no millionaires will want to be your friend. Trust me on that one. That's how I've got so many rich friends. And uh, cousins and family. And they all have more than ever. All the houses here are over a million. They're, the cousins all have like two million, three million dollar homes. <laughs> you don't ask questions. You don't ask things. You don't treat other YouTubers like, uh, like they're um, just poor, uh, poor nobodies. If they have three hundred thousand views or four hundred thousand views, you don't ask them for anything. <laughs> you know. If they want to do playlist partners and trade with you, just be grateful for the trade. That's all I got to say. Be grateful for the trade, especially if you only have 50,000 views or 20,000 views. You know, be grateful for the bigger YouTubes to work with you. <laughs> they don't have to, you know. So, yeah. So I'm happiest when I can just record and play my videos there. It's frustrating. What frustrates, it frustrates me to uh, my... Uh, phone will fill up, so my dad bought me more um, storage time. Anything I want, I can have. Oh, I have a selfie stick. 
See, I have all these gadgets, I just forget to use them. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dad said I told him to turn, you can turn it down because the, the movie he's watching, they say a lot of bad words, so turn that down. But yeah, I did great with this room. I cleaned it. You'll see older footage from the day or the day before. I have it out of order where there's still stuff on the ground. But the, I cleaned it. This little corner is clean there, see? And there's just some, my vitamins left. I don't know where to put them. I just keep them here. And don't forget, I have the upstairs room. This is just an extra spare room to, in case I don't want to walk up there. I have that extra spare room that I did that uh, Weight Watchers, I can always hang out there. Also, I can hang out in the library and I can hang out down in the orchard. And also, uh, I can I can sit in any of the cars, <laughs> cars or the vans. We call it a minivan. So, yeah. There was a thing, I get get off my chest saying uh, loners aren't good people or whatever. Well, you can be the best person and be a loner and you can be the worst person to be alone. You can be the, I'm the best person. I do things on my own. I'm not codependent. So you don't want to be codependent. You want to be independent. And you don't want to be afraid of things. You want to be able to get out, get get all your groceries, get all your things. You want to be able to go to a, a restaurant without freaking out. You know, I go all over <laughs> restaurants. We're going to have, but you know what the best thing is to do? Just be a multimillionaire, you guys. Uh, my dad's going to have a, uh, a big pizza delivery truck with pizza and cheesy bread and all that delivered a couple hundred dollars worth coming this way and of course you've seen the chips and all that yeah you can spend like 200 bucks and that's the best way to live just have have the money make the money and have the money and have your own vineyard <laughs> you know this pauper life is no good no good the pauper life and uh, yeah so oh <sighs> Let's see, if you're, I have my, I'll put my, I have my little um, hat thingy here, I'll take it off the wall. But what I could do, it's perfect 70 degrees, if it was hot, I can put the hat on. What's up, friends? <laughs> this is a cute look. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so yeah, I was gonna say, get all the awards you can get, make all the money you can get, sell all the products or whatever you're doing, whatever company you're working with, and retire early. <laughs> retire, retire by the time you're 40. You know, you don't want to be working when you're 30 or 4 or 40 or out of work and broke and then trying to find work at 40. No, trust me, you don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, make all the money you can. And if your folks need help and they're alive, go live with your folks or go help your folks. You know, do whatever you got to do. Sell your homes or rent them out or whatever and go help your folks. <laughs> you know, it worked out good for me. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Well, there's going to be a lot of people here later on today. So I'm trying to get a lot of videos done. And, um... Yeah, I've been playing uh, some videos on my TV of other people and on the phone while, while I walked. But while I walked, I mostly recorded this time. So why do 15 minutes of work when you... I've literally been up since all more. I mean, I got up early. I got up early. And 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3... I would say uh, eight hours of on my feet, eight hours of eight hours. Of, you can call it exercise, eight hours of doing stuff. And you know what made me feel good, you guys? If you feel or feel depressed and down, snap out of that right away and get out of that negative mindset. I put on a, go the golden the karaoke that I'm sub to, and I just built it out a whole bunch of songs. It was fun. You just play it. You play whatever song you that you know you like. And just play the karaoke, and God, you feel so relieved after, <laughs> you know. It's better than any antidepressant I could think of. But yeah, so yeah, 
I've been doing tons of exercise today, up and down the hills, all around, all around the house. And took two showers, <laughs> washed my feet a bunch of times now. And uh, I had a great big salad. I, I uh, logged that, the salad with the egg on it, egg and then some crumbled egg, chips, and ranch dip. It was awesome. And salami. Salami dollars. It's it fantastic. So I got my calories in perfectly. <laughs> And yeah, I made another video too about how you don't want to join cults or clicks on uh, clicks in school or clicks in and and um, you don't want to join clicks. You don't want to join any YouTube, any internet clicks because you don't know those people. You've never met them. They could be insane. <laughs> yeah, and you know that's all. <laughs> that's all. You don't join any clicks and uh, yeah make sure you have TVs throughout your house and yeah if you can't afford your own house go if a parent is alive or yeah if your parent needs help go live with your parent and help them <laughs> I learned that from my husband he always helped he helped his mom and dad when his dad was alive he always helped them so I learned that from from him <laughs> always uh Help your parents. Help my grandparents. They made me very, very rich. <laughs> they left me a lot of money. I always help my grandparents. I always help bo both sides. They both sides gave me a lot of money. Quite a lot. So, yeah. And always be... Uh, when you meet people, always be... Just be nice to everyone. Because you never know. They might want to go buy a few thousand dollars of vitamins or products. That's what was with me. I was just nice to everyone. And you never know when they're going to want to buy or you never know if they're going to leave you money. They just might write you out a check and uh, just leave you money. <laughs> it's not what you know, it's who you know. I mean, what you know is great. School is great, but it's who you know. <laughs> okay, friends. So don't get things twisted. Uh, but uh, yeah, don't get things twisted with... Uh, I have some people that whatever I say, they twist. They say, I, you know, I'm this or that. If I have somebody coming at me constantly uh, asking for requests of these cheap stores, they know I'm a multimillionaire, okay? My family's a multimillionaire. I, I'm i a third owner, and I'm in dividends. I get I get uh, big checks, 40 grand checks. Why would you demand for, demand for me to go to anything? You don't demand millionaires that they won't want to be your friend. <laughs> and you don't go and spy on people, you know. You don't be two-faced. Don't be two-faced because I'll always find out. If you go to, uh, it's just like Kathy. I'm going to speak openly. Remember Mommy Tang and Kathy had that thing going where uh, Mommy Tang never addressed it. But then in Kathy, Kathy was making her videos. Well, some people went over to Kathy and pretended to be her friend. And they're fake. They're wolves. Wolves. And, uh, you know, they pretend to be interested in the in her cooking, but they're fat as F. Okay? We're talking five feet tall and two, three hundred pounds. And Kathy was like 140 and she went down to like 125, 120, something like that. She looks amazing. And I greatly support Kathy. She looks amazing. She's another multimillionaire. She was left millions. You know, the millionaires, we all stick together, you know. So, yeah. So, some of uh, the people that pretended to be friends with Kathy went on to my channel. First, I was accused, oh, no, well, you must be joking. You don't have a, you don't have a $40,000 fountain. You don't have a, this. You don't, you guys don't, they're laughing. I say, I have a full staff. We have two secretaries. We have a gardener. We have. We have Esmeralda, the housekeeper. My dad has a full staff. And you get these people, dodo brains on the internet. Oh, no, you don't. You, ha, 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 you don't have that. Because they have nothing. They've never seen things like that. But this is everyday life in this town. Everyday life. Uh, all the people up in the hills. This is everyday life. <laughs> you know? And unless you're renting, 
unless you're renting a place, then it's not everyday life. But if you own any homes in Silicon Valley, it's a, and there's nothing left. There's no such thing as under a million. There's 700,000 gets you a little Cracker Jack box. <laughs> Cracker Jack. Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> but a lot of farmers sold their land and made millions. Mm -hmm. Like if you have a 20 acres and you sell it for 2 million, you got 40 million or 1.5 million. So, you know, my family talks in millions. That's the way we talk. <laughs> and it's nothing about, like my dad was saying, rich or poor, we all like, he likes Mary Mayweather. Rich, you know, rich or poor, people like who they're going to like. And you have to respect people that are, you have to respect millionaires and their lifestyle and try to learn from them rather than demand that they watch your videos or demand that they go to this store, go to that store, jump through hoops. Because if you have a no, nothing channel, a startup channel or a, a no video channel or a, uh, you're an obese woman and you're starting a channel and you're pretending to be a small oriental girl or a small little white girl, you know, people are going to figure it out after a while that when you're binge eating 5,000 calories of whatever, gravy and beans or 15 tacos, that you're not, <laughs> we're going to figure it out because you can't just do headshots. When you do the full body, when you sit in your car, when you're out in the park doing your binge eating, we're going to figure out whoa she's not 110 pounds like she kind of pretends to be in her pictures <laughs> you know yeah so don't get things twisted i always find out when the people are short and fat i always figure that out and i don't hang around short fat people at all I just don't um we can watch each other's videos and be respectful but i think everybody should try to be the best they can be and being the best it's not your best if you're going around eating what a six foot tall person would eat <laughs> it's gluttony it's, it's considered a sin i used to do these videos where um uh, to my for myself and watch it on my tv there to stop eating and people say you're insane <laughs> but you guys know what i mean i would say stop eating stop eating and so I'd play it and I would stop eating. It's like a hypnotizing kind of a thing for my mind. And sure enough, I would just get busy. I would make my bed, I would scrub, I would clean. I would sing a song, I would color. I would do anything but eat. <laughs> it works. So you have to think about that. If you're like a little short fat person and you just can't cut your portions because you should be the size of your fist your portions and you just can't figure out how to get under below 200 pounds. I'll tell you this, this as an expert.